Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you how to save your files for your mod and upload them. So first what we need to do is go into Finder and we're going to go to Macintosh Hard Drive, Users, Shared, Minecraft Mods, Forge. Okay, now you can see here is the templates directory that we created and our files that we're working on are in source. So we can look at them, src, the source main java, and you can also see source main resources. So in here are all of our assets and our code that we've created. So we need to be back. Let's start again from the beginning. Macintosh hard drive, users, shared, Minecraft mods, Forge. Okay, so now when we see the source directory, directory we can press Control, then click, and there's an option, Compress SRC. We're going to compress, and what that's going to do is create a file right here, src.zip. Now if you all upload files called src.zip, that's going to get awfully confusing. So we're going to click, and then click again, and we're going to modify the name. So I'm going to call mine Mrs. Ziegler underscore, and to create an underscore you press shift, and then it's the button where you would see the dash. There's a larger underscore above the dash or the minus. Okay, so now I have Mrs. Ziegler underscore src. I'm going to take the dot out because I think that might be confusing. Okay, so now I have my file saved. Now I need to upload it. And I have created an area for you to upload files. You can go again to dft.ba-minecraft mods. Okay, now instead of downloading, we're going to upload. You can either click this image or the text that says upload a file. And then we're going to type our name. I'm going to type Mrs. Ziegler. I choose a file and I am going to start again Macintosh hard drive users shared Minecraft mods forge and you can see here's my zip file that I created Mrs. Ziegler underscore src dot zip now open that, and I can see here that I've chosen it. Then I'm going to click Upload File. <laughs> okay, so it says File Uploaded Successfully. This is just the name of your file now. But what we want to do is go back to the File Upload area and check. Do we see our file? I see my file. So I know success. Also, if you've uploaded multiple files, you might want to check and see does the time make sense? This time is a bit off, but I think this is probably um, in California's time zone where their server is. Okay. So, success. And that way, I can download your files. You can download your files at another time if you need to. Okay, great.